On my channel, we primarily cover the Pokemon trading card game. It's a game that I love. I've been playing it for years and I don't really have much time to, to do much else. But sometimes on the side, I like to play Lorcana. It's the Disney based TCG. It's a ton of fun. I highly recommend it. And I'm, I'm going to bring this back to Pokemon in a second, though. Um, one of the things that I love about Lorcana is that when you buy a pre-constructed deck, um, such as these ones from Rise of the Floodborne, uh, they also come with a booster pack. And it just gives you the opportunity to open something up, potentially have some cards to upgrade in your pre-constructed deck. And I love that idea. I wish Pokemon would do that more often, but but maybe they, they are? I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I want to talk about some things Pokemon have been doing of late with their pre-constructed decks that could potentially signal a sign of things to come, or at the very least, something I would love to see Pokemon do more of. So they, they recently announced that they have this exclusive bundle happening with Amazon where I think September 6th is the release date, you can get a special bundle from Amazon with this Greninja EX deck with two booster packs. And now, now the, the, the Greninja deck is not particularly strong. It's a level one beginner deck. I don't necessarily think the, the price, and I don't have the price off the top of my head, I don't necessarily think you're getting a massive savings by buying this bundle of Greninja with the two packs, but I absolutely love the idea of getting a pre-constructed deck while also getting something to open here to get potentially more cards to upgrade your deck. I think that's just a really fun experience as a player and potentially getting something good from these cards that you can put in just makes you feel that much better for buying that product. Now in over in, I think it's Taiwan in the Asian territories, they've also revealed that they have these upcoming tactics decks that are coming out. They look similar to league battle decks that we have in the West. And they have six different versions, the Meowskarada, Charizard, Maridon, Gardevoir, Garchomp, and Scissor. We don't have the deck list for these yet, so I can't speak to how competitive they are. I get the sense based on the Pokemon they're picking, they're probably closer to a league battle deck than a beginner level deck. Uh, oh, for the win, TCG with the raid. Howdy, howdy. Um, welcome, everybody. <laughs> Uh, I was actually in the middle of recording something for YouTube. We're going to keep this part in here and then I'll, I'll just cut back. It's cool. It's cool. <sighs> Welcome back for the win. Over in the Asian territories, I believe this is in China and Taiwan, they're releasing these tactics decks and these are look like they're going to be more in line with the more competitive league battle decks based on the archetypes they've picked here like Charizard, Maridon, Gardevoir are super serious decks. The other three not so much but I would think these are going to be stronger in the way they are built. But one of the cool things about these decks is that they come with a promo pack with one card and shout outs to ptc you're another poke tuber right here um these come with one of 10 possible cards that's going to come with this pack and you could get a bunch like one of these playable cards M manaphy luminion counter catcher earthen vessel heavy ball also like some other awesome cards lost vacuum rescue board uh i think this is kieran I think this is Kieran, uh, for a seal stone and double turbo energy. All of these, I mean, not all of them are going to work for these decks, but a lot of them will, and they are going to be upgrades for a lot of these different decks. So I, I love the idea of having just some sort of extra thing that you can put into your deck into the the prepackaged product, whether it's a booster pack, whether it's a one of promo card that just gives you more. Uh, more incentive to buy a pre-constructed deck while also just giving you that positive feeling of like, yeah, I bought this pre-constructed product and now I can open up a thing and I got a cool card or cool cards from it. And that just kind of builds that cycle of like, now I want to buy more cards uh, to, to, to get even more invested in the hobby and, and continue to build the decks. So I think that Pokemon has done a really good job with their decks. I think that Battle Academy is a really great product. I love my first battle as an introductory tool to get in. I think the level two decks are kind of weird and I wish those were a little better. And League Battle decks are really awesome as a way of buying a pre-constructed deck. But, but what if you could make them even better by just, just packing in a little extra? Even just the one pack. I, I'm kind of a stickler for like how these are produced. And when people say like, oh, I just want like fully meta decks. I, I always bring up stuff like, yeah, but you have to consider the cost and shipping and weight. But like, 
what if we were able to just squeeze in like one pack or even just this promo pack with one card i think would be absolutely awesome and make these pre-constructed decks even better what say you would, would you like to see uh some extra goodies in these pre-constructed decks let me know in the comments below but for now, I got to get going. If you're watching this on Twitch, um, stick around. We're going to play some more. But for our friends on YouTube, we got to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, you can find me on all the things. YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at in third person. You can find me on Twitch at in third person where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And check out the website in third for more articles and videos on video games, board games and other nerdy pursuits. And one more shout out. Shout out to For the Win TCG. Thank you so much for the raid. If you're not already watching him on YouTube, which you, you probably are because his channel is a lot bigger than mine. Uh, go, go follow him as well for some awesome decks and some really wacky stuff. I, I'm not going to lie. Go watch. Here, I was watching recently. I really like the the Giratina Ogre Pond deck. That deck seems awesome. That 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 one seems awesome. Um, I really like that build from For the Win TCG. But yeah, I got to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. We're out. Bye-bye.